my name is Amina Tosise. I live in Tange. When we get the visitors at our homes, they will be experiencing how we live in our communities, how we spend our whole day going to the market, cooking, taking care of the house, the kids and everything. So it will be a whole day experience on how we live in our communities and our houses. The first thing we're going to um, teach them to do is how to tie our wrappers. Um, then we go out, I start with the house chores like sweeping the rooms, making the beds, you know, washing the bowls. Then from there, we head to the well, um, go and fetch water because that's the first thing we do, go and fetch water. And then from there, we come, like if we have clothes to um, wash, we take out the clothes, wash them, then start cooking. Then they will experience how we cook our meals, you know, the long time we take because for us, we take like two hours or three hours cooking and we enjoyed it. So anyway, it will be a very great experience to all of them. I know they will love it for sure. The first people we met, like they were nice to all of us and they were like surprised on how we spend our daily um, activities. Like really, this is how you, you, you always get tired doing like two hours or three hours cooking, making the houses. Sometimes they even ask us as if um, there's only one person taking care of the whole house. Sometimes it happens, yeah. Sometimes only one person will take care of everything. Cook, do the cooking, laundry, <laughs> um, clean the houses, you know, taking care of the kids at home, you know. Yeah, they are always surprised that one, one person can do a lot because, you know, that's how it is here. Uh, it's a good thing that Europeans are coming over to our house, you know, spending the whole day together with us. You know, sharing our cultures, you know, it's very, it's, it's very nice, really. Sometimes you will see that the kids love it, you know, the family loves it, especially the old people around, you know. <laughs> it's nice, um, yeah. They always adapt to our um, cultures and the, way they, and the way we cook. And thank God they ask a lot of questions and we, and we, always, we are always happy to respond to them. And you know, it helps because they're always ready to do it. So whatever you tell them to do, they will do it without. With enjoyment, you will see the um, smile in their faces that they like, they really like what they are doing. And that also helps us. And it also makes us happy that, uh, you know, tourists are coming over here, spending the whole day in our houses. You know, we also experience because we also do ask them questions about their self and the way they live, you know. Um, and it helps because we know the differences between the way they live and the way we live, we live here. First experience was like, how long do we cook? I said, it will take two hours or maybe three hours. And they, they are like, what? Really? For us, it only takes 20 minutes, 30 minutes. I said, yes, it's true. But you know, here we, you know, your foods are always processed foods. And ours is just from the garden to the market, from the market to our houses. We prepare our food from the scratch without any utensils, yeah. I think um, this project can be expand more in the future by, um, you know, involve more families, more houses. For example, if um, we have more tourists, we can divide them into three and take each, each group to um, a different house. After spending the whole day together, maybe if they sit together, they can say, um, this is how we spend our day in so-so house and the others will say this is how we spend um, the day with the house we went to. Although we, are, we all do our things um, um, the same, but we have different way of doing it. Like for example, some will um, prefer washing their clothes before going to the market and some will prefer going to the market then come back home, wash, keep be washing clothes and cooking at the same time. So we want them to have more experience like from different houses, you know, after everything, they will sit together and start talking about how it went. From each house, you know, they will learn more and more. And for the families, yeah, um, you will see that like in one trip, three families can benefit from um, this trip, you know, instead of one. So we are praying that it, um, this project um, grow wings to fly everywhere so that maybe we'll even have five or six houses to go to inshallah because um, like we always go to a family that is struggling for their daily bread so 
probably if you um, if you if you make a whole shopping for them, come spend the whole day, cook, you know, eat together, it's very nice. And after that, we buy a bag of rice and give it to them. It means a lot to them because sometimes getting a bag of rice for a family, it's it's really difficult because most of them they go to the market buy two cups, three cups. So if you give them a bag of rice, it helps them a lot. It can take them months. Um, to cook with that whole bag of rice, so we, they always appreciate. Well, we're inviting like everyone to come and um, have this experience, life experience, because though it's nice to be seeing it on TV or, you know, reading it on books, but it's nicer coming here, um, stay in our houses, know how we do our things, experience it, I think is the best way to, um, to learn about us, you know, having our cultures. Sometimes we can have like cultural dance, you know, taking the pots, you know, and dancing together, it's nice. Next time we're not going to use radios, next time we are going to use our own um, bowls, you know, beating them, making sound, music, that will be wonderful. And we are really waiting for you with all our hands open. And I'm assuring you, you will not regret it. You will love um, being in our houses. You know, we'll teach you a lot, inshallah.